hello welcome back to another video um today it is sunday morning and i quickly rushed into chamdo because i wanted to buy paper i wanted to buy pattern paper and as always i couldn't stop myself from checking what was available there but fortunately this time i was proud of myself i did not get anything that i did not need so i went in there i these are the iron ons if you know iron ons yeah but i was not looking for these ones i was looking for paper and luckily i found it the last time i was here i couldn't find it i ended up buying one of the iron ons so that i can use it as a pattern paper so i was very happy when i found the paper today it is not the quality that i'm used to but it will have to do for now and now we are back home and miss thing was so angry at me she wasn't talking to me but i know how to get her going <laughs> a treat is always what she needs so i decided to give her a little bit of a treat and she was good to go she was happy and everything was how it's supposed to ignore the background it's school holidays guys kids are playing in the background there's nothing i can do about it and miss kara is also making a whole lot of noise it's school holidays <laughs> nothing is going to be the way it's supposed to so today actually yesterday when i went to the stores i was like hmm we haven't had um sunday goes in a while and um the other day t selani butter and babies she was saying something about the sunday goes and that she had decided that because it's something that we had grown up doing our parents doing it for us and it, it, she's going to do that for her kids and you know what personally i'm the guilty one i i haven't um, i haven't i don't cook sunday because like i don't guys honestly speaking i don't one of my reasons has always been one um it's a lot of work <laughs> it's a lot of work you know so i always go for quick stuff nutritious but quick stuff so i've been avoiding sunday because for a long time and i thought mm, maybe i should do that for my family and to be quite honest i think Uthio. Ooh, this child i did not <laughs> i started new traditions with him i didn't do i'm not doing everything that i grew up doing i mean a whole lot of things including including christmas clothes i don't buy christmas clothes guys i never i haven't bought christmas clothes for him ever since he was in primary i'm not going to lie to you because i felt that you buy clothes in december or november and they're very expensive and in january you can get them for half a price so since you guys know that i'm a cheapskate i always went with that so i'm going to start with boiling my potatoes um this is how i do them i know a lot of people always are surprised with why some people ask why i boil my potatoes with skin on i feel like if you, they don't have skin they overcook and when you mix them they become um a mashed potato so i don't so i boil them with skin on and then i once that is done i take them off the stove put them in a bowl and let them cool for a bit and then put them in a fridge to cool to chill a bit and then it's easy to work with and then when you mix them with mayonnaise and anything that you want to mix they don't get mushy like they are controllable and while that is going i started on my beetroot 
I, my beetroot as well, I do it in so many ways. So this time around, I decided that I'm going to cook it. I'm not going to do the raw one that I love. Um, so I'm going to boil it, but I peel it. I'm going to peel it and cut them into wedges like this one. Uh, hence, I chose the smaller ones because I wanted to make wedges out of them i didn't want to uh, have to dice them again that's another way of lessening the job you know so i mean if we can make wedges out of potatoes why can't we make wedges out of beetroot just saying <laughs> so i'm going to put that in a pot and then add my water and once that is done I will put that in a on a stove, but first we are going to add vinegar. Yes, I boil my beetroot with vinegar when I boil it, and we'll start on chicken. I think I do have a video on this channel where I show you guys what I do with the chicken. You basically cook your chicken. I don't always do it that way, but I basically cook my chicken like I'm cooking turkey. Babe! <laughs> Guys, my husband is sick. <laughs> He's sick, literally. So what am I supposed to do? I cannot go back. I'm not going back. I last time I told you guys that whenever I do a, a voiceover, I think he's the singing thing starts kicking in and then Kara on the other side will be doing her own thing. These two. So yeah, I cook my chicken when I want to cook my chicken and I want it properly seasoned. I add... I, I I I I grill it in an oven like you would your turkey. You know, turkey is very can be very dry, very bland. You know, it needs a lot of seasoning. So this is how I cook my chicken as well. I just melted butter a little bit, not too much, and I added onion powder, uh, parsley and yellow salt, and I also added black pepper you know and i'm adding i added moroccan spice and paprika you guys moroccan spice is my six gun for some of you <laughs> so i'm loving this i'm not as if you've been here you know i don't like a lot of spices sorry i prefer the one that has no salt in them but this one it, it's actually making me think, which is a bad idea, making me think to try others from that store that I buy um, spices from. But yeah, we'll see. So this is how I take my butter, put it under the skin, and then the remaining one, um, I put it on top of the skin. If you want, you can add a little bit of oil, but I don't think it's necessary for me. I I did I really don't think it's necessary. It's necessary, but your chicken will come out um shining. Mine is because I put butter. Uh, it will it's never shiny, but it's very delicious. It will, it will look like it's burnt, but it's not burnt, you know. So I only put uh the remaining butter from there and then I will add the the onion, sometimes the lemon, but I'm saving my lemons. I didn't buy lemons yesterday, so I'm choosing to save the little that I have for the dressings and all. And um, that was it. Then I proceeded into putting that into a an oven and I let it cook slowly there. Then we started on butternut. You know, butternut is a pain, right? Actually, any squash is a pain. <laughs> so, 
like when we go to functions like family gatherings and all of that the one thing that i always run away from it's butternut and beetroot but when you are in your house you can't run away from them <laughs> you have to do them whether you like it or not but i must say i enjoyed cooking this uh, Sunday because it was very 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 nice for me to be doing this for my family I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys are <sighs> winter is not too bad for you and the flu has not attacked you guys uh, so yeah I'm okay too <laughs> I'm grating the carrots for the chakalaka and my beetroot is ready not ready ready but it's cooked so I'm quickly just going to transfer it from the pot onto the bowl and set it aside and then the concentrated juice of the beetroot I'm going to put it in a ramekin make it's always important for the size of your juice to be this size because that means it's enough concentrated that's what we need for this recipe and i'm going to let it 
um i'm going to put it aside and continue chopping because i have rice on the stove i have pumpkin what else do i have and i have potatoes oh the potatoes are off so i'm just quickly just going to chop the the onions of everything that i need or onions for everything that i'm going to cook so that i don't have to come back here and and chop so one is going to be for the chakalaka which i think was not enough but that's okay i think i i made i grated um too much carrot yes um the intention was not for me to do that but it still turned out okay i'm not complaining so one onion is for the chakalaka and then one onion is for the beetroot what is and then the another onion is for the uh, for cream spinach yes i just did not want to i do that sometimes when i cook because i feel i feel like it saves me a lot of time so this one that i'm chopping is for my potato salad yes if you do have green onion or spring onion this will be a very how do i put it it will be a very um you could use that instead of the normal normal onion i did not have green pepper i didn't buy it <laughs> and i didn't want to go to the store so i used this instead and that's what i'm going to prepare my chakalaka with again i think the carrots are too much and my pepper so is not enough for them but it turned out okay but not the way i would have liked for it to turn out and another thing that i did is that i booked when i bought my baked beans yesterday i did not check and then when i got home they are written smoked i'm like i don't want anything smoked but it's what i have now and that's what i'm going to use and i just chopped um chilies red chilies onto that is going to be part of the beetroot and the chakalaka because i don't have acha and honestly i don't prefer acha i prefer to rather have a vegetable acha not mango acha if i want to put something onto the onto the the the, the chakalaka and then i proceeded once that was done i proceeded into chopping just roughly chopping my spinach and then i'm going to rinse it before i blanch it we all know how we blanch spinach in this house we've done this before so basically my seven colors now guys i refuse to be told what it's not seven colors it's seven colors these ones of the my 2000 saying it's several colors it's none of my business no one is going to change my childhood huh so in my pen i just added olive oil and i added one chopped onion and a little bit of 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 chili onto my pan and i'm going to stir that uh fry it up until it's tender this is my base for the beetroot and i'm going to add one eighth cup of sugar onto my onions continue cooking them frying them um you can you should fry them a little bit more than this so that until they are soft 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 and then added two and a half i mean half a teaspoon of salt onto the pan as well and stayed in we are creating a dressing for our beetroot and then that concentrated beetroot juice we put it back onto this pot and if you want it to be a garnish guys but let me not jump there the gun whatever and i'm adding one eight cup of vinegar i started with that because i wanted remember i did put vinegar into my beetroot when i was cooking it so i added vinegar one eighth and i checked if the acidic level was where i wanted it to be and then i felt like i it still needed a little bit more so i added a little bit more and then my beetroot in went so 
if if you want to turn that uh, before you added the the beetroot you want to turn it into a garnish for those of us who don't drink alcohol the onion the sugar the vinegar the what what all of those things you can take them and blend them onto in a blender and then put them back onto the stove and reduce them further then it will give you those dots you know the ones that they put in a uh the containers that we use for the chips when we put the mustard then the what what that one you can do that so that's how i made my beetroot and that was it you don't need to do anything else to it it's simple it's easy it's straightforward and then on the next part it is our cream spinach we know how we do it 50 grams of butter um let's say a cup of mushrooms and one chopped onion and then two table setting spoon and then i added a little over a cup of milk onto the pot and that was it that was it i didn't need to add anything more and i loved the consistency that it turned into and i proceeded into adding my blanched spinach in this case i did not run cold water into it because it's not for salad and i'm going to cook it anyway and i added a little bit of feta cheese in there you don't have to but you can either add parmesan or you can add feta cheese i don't have parmesan at the moment so i added feta cheese and i added garlic and onion powder i added parsley and i added my yellow salt and that was it easy quick hmm? easy quick inexpensive cream spinach that's it that was done okay so now we are starting on the pumpkin remember we cooked the pumpkin we boiled it until it's tender and then we drained it on this on the sink and then we let it um drain furthermore on a colander just to make sure that most of the water is out now we started with butter onto the pan and we are putting the pumpkin or the butternut back onto the pan and i added about two tablespoons of sugar you can add more if you want this is our cream spinach this is how it looks you can add more sugar if you want but i think butternut on its own it's sweet so there really is no need for us to be adding a whole lot more sugar into it but when i do cook for other people <laughs> or if i'm hosting i will definitely add more because some people prefer their butternut on the sweeter side but my family and i this is fine this is okay for us so while that was going i let it sit there at the back reduce the heat because i still wanted the water to be i wanted to make sure that there isn't any water into it so i'm starting on my chakalaka in there it's one onion that is chopped red chili and then the peppers that i chopped earlier on and i'm going to let them fry until slightly tender not overcooked slightly tender i peeled my potatoes off camera and they've been chilling in the fridge when i say they're easy to handle i mean this you can see they are not mushy and that's how i like them and this chili the green chili i got it from my yard one <laughs> I feel like I harvest one every month or every two months something and I'm going to add that onto my potatoes and I added that small onion that I chopped earlier on I added dry basil and I added yellow salt and mayo and that was it normally I would also put grain mustard but I don't have it at the moment so we will just go with just mayo and it was delicious like i just i cooked simple 
straightforward with me when I cook, when I make uh, seven colors or several, no, I said I refuse, seven colors, eh, seven colors, Sunday goes, I refuse to make it complicated, yes, so in my pot I added the carrots and I added garlic and onion powder. I added paprika. No, it's not paprika. It's Moroccan spice. And I added thyme. And I added yellow salt onto my pot or onto my chakalaka. Do you see why I say I felt like the carrots were a bit too much? But that's okay. I'm not complaining. Uh, but I would have loved for them to be slightly smaller than that not smaller but they were the 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 the, the ratio was not balancing the onion the pepper and the uh, the carrots were just too much you understand so i adjusted the seasoning with the yellow salt and continued to stay that in my heat was high and then i added my baked beans onto the guys i cannot be the only one i always always supplement um woolets if it's not cool beans woolets brand i always supplement it with tomato sauce it doesn't matter whether we're just having it as it is or what i always always supplement it with tomato sauce it's never enough <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, but I always supplement it. This is how it looks. This is how my plate looks. Thank you for watching. I'm not good at plating this Sunday cause, so don't judge me. Thank you for watching. See you on my next upload. Bye.